There was an episode of This American Life from a long time ago that featured a number of stories about people who had a misconception or misunderstanding that somehow slipped through their childhood and into adulthood. My favorite of these was about a girl who had gone through life thinking that unicorns were real. She figured they're basically horses with horns and were clearly more believable than, than dinosaurs or something. This idea lasted well into college when she was with a group of people and asked them some sort of question like, oh, are unicorns endangered or extinct? And when everyone went silent and then started laughing, she came to this realization that unicorns aren't real and she'd been mistaken her whole life. So I come to you with an example of this happening in my life, a misconception that lasted much longer than it had any right to. When I was growing up, our family had a dog named Sitka. When she was still very young, Sitka developed a problem where she couldn't digest her food, requiring us to get a special enzyme from the vet, mix it with baking soda, her dry food, and water, and let it sit for exactly 18 minutes. This would essentially pre-digest her food in her bowl so that her body could actually get, you know, actual nutrients out of it. Now I come from a musical family. It was quite common for my parents to make up songs for things that happened around the house. And my mom made up a song that she would sing when Sitka's food was waiting those 18 minutes. The song went like this. It's only 18 minutes until it is gourmet. It's only 18 minutes so Sitka don't fade away. It's only 18 minutes for Sitka gaily girl. Oh, Sitka, it's only 18 minutes. Now, I was quite young when my mom first started singing this song. It was the first time I had ever heard the term gourmet. With no other context to draw from, I took the line, it's only 18 minutes until it is gourmet to mean that something that was gourmet was definitionally something that took 18 minutes to cook or prepare. And so it was way later in life, I think in high school, when I had this moment when someone used the term gourmet in reference to some fancy food that hadn't taken 18 minutes to cook. And I was like, but wait, it only took like five minutes to prep, so it can't be gourmet and then had the crushing realization, oh my god, that's not what gourmet means. So what about all of you? Have you experienced this yet? Because if not, I hate to tell you, but it's likely to be just a matter of time until you find out what you've been greatly mistaken about. But that's okay. It's part of learning about the world. And you get to learn something new and have a bit of a laugh out of it.